Did you know that it's actually really easy to create seamless patterns here in Canva? Now, what I just did was created this one just here. Now, if you stick around and watch the video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to do this so you can also create your own seamless patterns. What I'm about to share with you is probably one of the easiest ways ever to create seamless patterns here in Canva. Now, what we're going to do is utilize grids. So let me show you what grids that we need, and then let me go through the process to show you how to do this. So first of all, we're going to come up here to elements. We're going to type in grid, and then we're going to click enter. Now we have all of these grids just here, and we need three of them. So if we come down to here, we're going to make three new pages. One, two, and three. Now the first one that we're going to need is this grid just here with the two rectangles. Then the second one we need is the following one next to it, which is this one. And then the last one that we need is the four square grids, which is just here. Now with these grids alone, you can create really nice seamless patterns. So let's go back over to here, and now let's go through the process. Now, first of all, you need to put some graphics on a page just like this. This part is not supposed to be seamless. It doesn't matter how it looks, but one rule of thumb to live by is that you kind of need your graphics evenly spaced. Now, you can do this for anything. You could do flowers, dogs, cats any type of seamless pattern that you want to create, you want to go through this process. So now, what we're going to do is download this as a PNG. So we're going to come up to Share, come down to Download, we're going to choose Page 1, and we're going to make sure that we have a transparent background. We now click Download. Now let's open this folder so I can put it in there. So once it's downloaded, we're just going to drag and drop. Now we go on to the first frame. Now the first thing that you want to do within your grids is close this gap just here. If you do not close it, then your seamless pattern is not going to line up properly. So what we want to do is click on here, it doesn't matter where, then we come up to spacing, then we close this grid spacing. So we want to change the 10 to zero, click enter, and there we go. So now there's no gap in between. So what we can now do is drag our graphic onto the page like that. Then we want to double click and then pull this all the way over to the left. So it's right at the edge like that. Then we're going to click done. Then we're going to do it again on the other side. Now we can just click on that, put it on the page, drag it in, double click, and then pull all the way over to the right so again, it's right on that edge. Then we're going to click OK. So that's the first step. Now from here, what we want to do is download this as a PNG. So we're now going to download page two. We're going to click download. And now we're going to repeat the process on the second grid. So we're going to drag this into the folder. We're going to go onto this grid just here. We're now going to close that spacing by changing that to zero. And now that gap has completely gone. We're going to click on this new one, drag it into the top, double click. And now we want to pull all the way to the edge like that. There we go. Now we're going to click done. Now we're going to repeat that on the second part down below. So we're going to drag, drop, double click and pull all the way down like this. Once that's done, we click done. And now we're going to repeat the process one more time. So now we want to go to download, we want to go to page three, and we're going to click OK or download, and then we're going to drag this into the folder as well. And now we're going to move on to the fourth grid. Now from here, we're just going to repeat the process. So first of all, we want to close that spacing. We click, go to spacing, change this to zero, 
and now there's no spacing at all. And now we can just pull that into every single square just here. There's no need to double click. We're just going to pull it in like that. And there we go. We now have a seamless pattern. Now with this one, we can see that there's a little bit of empty space. There's a little bit of empty space under this rainbow just here and next to this heart. So what I could do is just go back to the beginning, to this part just here. I could put something under this rainbow and next to that heart and then repeat the process so I don't have no empty space just here. But that's how you create a seamless pattern here in Canva. Because now if we download this, we can go to page four. And if we click download and open a new page, let's just drag this into there. Then let's actually delete all of these just here. And now we have that seamless pattern. So if we take this, put that on the page, and because it's a transparent background, we can even play around with the background color. So we could change this to pink. In fact, let's just enlarge this a little bit like so. We could change it to pink. We could change it to whatever color that we fancy. That one looks actually pretty good, so let's keep it on that. And if you want to make sure that your pattern is a seamless pattern, which it should be, because following that process which I just shared, will create a seamless pattern every single time. But if you want to check, you can come over to a seamless pattern checker. I will link this one down in the description below. And then you can just drag your image in and see what it looks like. So that's fully zoomed in. We can see it looks pretty good. And that's zoomed out. And we can see that it is, in fact, a seamless pattern. So come through to Canva and give this a go. This is probably the easiest way that I have found to create seamless patterns here in Canva. Now, if you're wondering which graphics I used for this, let's just take a quick look at them because they are actually pretty nice. This is a groovy graphic bundle over from Creative Fabrica. As we can see, there's lots of graphics in this bundle as well. And I'll also show you this over on Creative Fabrica as well, because I have it open just here. It's this Flower Power Spring Retro Groovy Bundle. This is actually a really nice bundle of groovy graphics, as you can see just here. If you want to check this out, I will also link this down in the description below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to watch more of my content, then click right here and watch this video.